Okay, so today we're going to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to generate leads for our business. So I have used a very simple filter. So by the way, if you don't know how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator uh, to find leads for your business, make sure to check out the video I have done previously. Check it out on uh, my channel uh, where I show exactly step-by-step, -step, very detailed uh, video on how to use Sales Navigator. And today I'll show you how I actually work and how I generate leads manually in LinkedIn Sales Navigator. There are ways how to automate that, but I don't do that because I just don't. And uh, yeah, let me show you how to do that. The first thing I uh, customized my uh, filters. I used uh, the keywords data engineering because I want to find job for data uh, for my data engineers. Uh, and I specify geography. This is where our current customers are based in and that is why we can get some good feedback from our customers there. That would mean as a sort of sort of predictability for our potential customers. And I want to connect new connections, so not the people I am already connected to. And I have identified industries I want to uh, to work with and the company headcount that I think we are eligible to work with. Like I'm not um, applying to 10,000 employees plus <laughs> companies and seniority level, like top level. And the function of those top managers should be tech roles like engineering, uh, information technologies, product managers, so all the tech positions because it's easier to talk to a tech person. They think about what they want to achieve. They think about the result, and that is what matters for us as well. Okay, so I have my mm, uh, document, my file with typical uh, responses and uh, connect messages that I use for LinkedIn, and I customize them every single time. Today I'm going to use this customized message. I have several of them and I rework them every time, I see how they perform. So I'm clicking on those three buttons and I'm clicking on connect. I don't save her as lead because uh, I don't want uh, my thread to become messy. Like many people say that dear is like old fashioned. Yes, it is in like business communication. Even nowadays, you should just use hi. But I want to stand out from the crowd. That is why I'm using dear. But in my uh, in all the rest of my message, I'm being very precise to why I'm contacting this person. And mostly they uh, all of them react normally when I'm being straight to the point because there is this statement that you should, uh, you know, first start a connection and link it in, talk about something very distant, and then after like tense uh, follow up, you should actually talk about business, why you want to connect with this person. I don't think that this is a good approach. Nowadays, we have so little time to listen to other people. So it's really good to understand who you see in front of yourself. And that is why when people reach out to me and want uh, to have some deal with me, I want them to be straight to the point so that I can understand whether I am a good fit for them so that, that we don't lose any time interacting with each other or in going to the call. If we like uh, have nothing to say to each other, we are not interested in each other. This means that I have already sent a connect message to that person and I'm proceeding uh, with the rest of the list. A small hack, if you do this way, the connect message will go through. Uh, like I mentioned that I don't change much in my connect message because all of these people fall into the same category. They're somehow connected uh, to data engineering uh, direction and they are all in tech management roles. Uh, so I don't need to customize my connect message much. So I'm just proceeding with the list. And this type of lead generation uh, takes me up to one or two hours and Typically, I'm good for the rest of the week dealing with responses. But it really depends on how good your connect message is. And by the way, I have changed my profile photo. And maybe that is why the response rate I get to the very same message is a little bit lower. Because in my previous profile pic, I wore a very beautiful white and red dress. <laughs> uh, 
and the get response rate was higher. But hopefully this time, even if it will be lower, it will be more meaningful for both of us. Okay, so I can go on and on with my lead generation, like I mentioned, for the next two hours. Uh, so I don't want to bother you with that. But you actually understood how how it is done in um, Sales Navigator. So the first thing I do is I adjust my filters according to the people I look for. Again, if you don't know how to do that, make sure to check out my video on how to use uh, LinkedIn Sales Navigator to generate high quality leads from LinkedIn. And um, as soon as uh, I have my list of leads, I can choose the option to, uh, uh, to only message people who changed their jobs in the past 90 days. Uh, that is extremely important because those people tend to respond like more readily. And uh, yes, after uh, generating leads for uh, like a couple of hours, I'm good for the rest of the week because I'm dealing with responses. If you have a sales team of your own, you can like delegate those tasks to them. And that is one of the tasks I want to delegate. Uh, it's just I don't use LinkedIn much these days. But this is how typically it is done manually. There are, like I mentioned, automatic tools that can help you do that. When you sort your leads manually, yes, you're spending like a little bit more time, but at the same time, it's, it's so easy to do, you know, click copy and paste, send, copy and paste, send. You just have to flip through their titles and that is all you have to do to understand whether this person is a good fit for you. And when you do this automatically, the automatic tools don't do that. They will send the messages to everyone they see falling into the category. And that is a wrong approach, I think. But that is just my method. So let me know how you do that and whether this is something that you would be interested more. Uh, so let me know in the comments how you find uh, lead generation via LinkedIn.